one of my cousins, Hewlett, uh, for years called me Mrs. Green. And I said to her many times, don't call me Mrs. Green. I'm your cousin. Call me Rosa. And I said, don't you know how you're my cousin? And she said, I don't have any idea. So really, uh, I think Hewlett is the one who gave me the idea that I must write it all down and make them read it. <laughs> so they would know how they were cousins. David Gardner Phillips was my great grandfather. Well, he had borrowed money to go to school. And he went back to Alabama with some friends and I think to maybe make a payment on his loan. And while he was there, he had graduated from the Erskine Seminary. He preached a sermon and the man who had lent him the money heard the sermon. And at the end of the little church service, he came to my great grandfather and said, David, your debt is paid. Which I think says a lot about the man who lent the money and the man who received the money. He, he was minister at Ebenezer and Bethel churches. Bethel is in Burke County. Ebenezer's in Jefferson County. After he retired, he became the first school superintendent of Jefferson County. They buried him right back of his pulpit. Mm -hmm. 43 years. That was a long sermon, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it lasted 43 years. I bet sometimes they thought, oh. Well, of course, I don't remember him. Uh, I just remember hearing about him from my grandmother. I had visualized him as being pretty dry and dull and maybe a little uh, domineering and dogmatic, but I found out that he was a kind and gentle man and I really have, have affection for him. Before I had admiration for him, now I have affection and admiration for him. Well, he was married twice. His first wife died in childbirth. His second wife was Julia Eliza William Agnes Little. We call her Jewel because of her initials. And she was a native of Jefferson County. The Little family has lived in Jefferson County a long time. They had eight children. My great uncles and aunts, and one is my grandmother, my paternal grandmother. William Little was the oldest, Uncle Willie, and I think next came Mary Eloise called Wheeze. I knew her as Aunt Wheeze. I think next came Martha. We called her Aunt Maddie. She lived just down the street from us. And in my scrapbook, I did say that when we were children, my two sisters and I sold vegetables out of our garden. And we, Aunt Maddie always bought something for, from us and never complained about how much it cost. <laughs> and everything was always wilted. <laughs> so uh, I liked Aunt Maddie because she was sweet to us. And let's see, the next one was David Gardner Phillips, Jr. We called him Uncle Gardner. I believe next came Aunt Tiny, Julia Francis, Uncle's son, who was John Robert. And I remember that Uncle's son and was in the choir and sang tenor, and you could hear <laughs> you could hear him singing above everybody else. <laughs> and let's see, the next one was my grandmother, who was Lois, and the youngest one was Enoch Bothwell, Uncle Bothwell. These eight in the scrapbook. Uh, well, special. I think they were strong-willed and strong, strongly principled people, and they were going to do what they thought was right no matter what.
So I'm proud to be uh, one of them. There's something here. Mm -hmm. It says, Thy flesh do hope. That's all I can give you. It's probably a quote from the Holy so. Bible. It has quotation marks on it. See, my grandmother knew it practically by heart when Jimmy would read to her at night. Uh -huh. And he tried to skip. He would think she was asleep, so he would just skip down a few verses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she'd wake, she'd open her eyes and say, Uh-uh, no, Jimmy. <laughs> I think the eight original children of David Gardner Phillips remained very close throughout their lives. And each generation, you know, is less close. And this is Aunt Wee's, Kelsey. This oh. is Aunt Wee's and her husband. Aunt Wee's who uh, had the peanut butter everyone pills. welcome. <laughs> everyone welcome <time. laughs> I love it. Everyone, you know, just open the doors, come on in. I wanted the cousins who are here now, who didn't know about the family, much about the family, I hoped that they would read it and get to know their ancestors, because I think they're worth knowing. Lots of cuddings in here. Cuddings and uncles and... <laughs>